Yellowstone's sheer eruption unleashes a supervolcano awakening USGS declares national emergency. Laboratory at the Cascades Volcano Observatory of the US Geological Survey. And it's in places like this. A cataclysm unfolds beneath America's most dangerous volcano, Yellowstone National Park, USA. What began as an intense sheer eruption initially dismissed as an extreme geyser, even Thaz now escalated into the unthinkable. The full-scale awakening of the Yellowstone supervolcano The United States Geological Survey, USGS, has issued an unprecedented Level 5 red alert, confirming that magma is rising at an uncontrollable rate and the largest volcanic system in North America is now on the verge of a world-changing eruption. As Yellowstone shakes violently, tens of thousands flee in terror, while the skies darken with thick clouds of ash. The ground itself is fracturing as superheated gases surge from deep within the Earth's crust. Scientists at the USGS, normally reserved in their predictions, have delivered a chilling message. The countdown has begun. The beginning. The sheer eruption that started it all. The crisis started three days ago, when a powerful sheer eruption, a sudden and violent burst of pressurized geothermal steam rock, the western section of Yellowstone National Park. Visitors at Norris Geyser Basin were among the first to witness the spectacle as a towering plume of boiling water and steam shot nearly 500 feet into the air, the largest geyser eruption ever recorded in the park. Tourists screamed and fled as the sheer force of the explosion sent shockwaves across the landscape. The USGS immediately dispatched a response team suspecting heightened geothermal activity, but what they found was far worse than a geyser's typical outburst. Alarming seismic readings and magma uplift. Within hours of the sheer eruption, seismic stations detected a dramatic increase in underground pressure and harmonic tremors, the kind of deep, rhythmic shaking that signals magma movement beneath the Earth's surface. GPS instruments revealed that the entire Yellowstone caldera, 45-mile-wide volcanic crater formed from previous eruptions, was experiencing rapid uplift, with some areas rising by nearly 3 inches per hour. This was five times the rate observed before previous Yellowstone eruptions, a sign that magma was forcing its way upward far more aggressively than scientists had ever recorded. Satellite thermal imaging confirmed the worst fears. A massive heat signature was expanding beneath the park, stretching across multiple geothermal basins, including Old Faithful, Mammoth Hot Springs, and West Thumb. At a USGS emergency briefing, Dr. Michelle Poland, the agency's leading volcanologist, made a stunning admission. We are no longer dealing with standard geyser activity. This is a full-scale destabilization of the Yellowstone magma chamber. The pressure beneath the caldera is now at a level we have never observed before. We could be looking at the first stages of a supervolcanic eruption. Phase 2. The eruption begins. As the nation watched in disbelief, a massive explosion shattered the landscape at Norris Geyser Basin. At 4.36 p.m., the first major fissure, open spanning nearly three miles of steam, toxic gases, and molten lava began spewing into the air. The explosion sent hot ash and rock cascading across the park, instantly igniting forests and devastating local wildlife. Rangers and emergency crews rushed to evacuate thousands of visitors, while USGS scientists confirmed that magma was now actively rising to the surface. Within two hours, the eruption had intensified beyond control. Pyroclastic Sergeza lethal wave of superheated ash, gas, and rock began, devouring everything in a 30-mile radius. Lightning storms erupted within the ash cloud, striking trees and buildings as the superheated plume rose into the atmosphere. 
Earthquakes measuring 7.3 and 7.8 magnitudes rocked the entire western United States, causing structural damage as far away as Salt Lake City and Denver. By midnight, a 15-mile-wide lava dome had formed, spewing fountains of molten rock into the night sky.